Hello, this is Clarice Mert, the Brazilian one, and today we will talk about the second pillar of life. Last week we talked about healthy, and today we will talk about money. Oh my gosh, money is the weaker pillar in my life. It is so skinny. <laughs> And short, oh gosh, no, I cannot complain. I cannot complain. But is a pillar that definitely I can work to it be stronger, fat, and tall. And I will give you some uh, tips about uh, how to um, save and, and, and manage your money, especially if you are in a tight budget because I live in a tight budget. I don't make a lot of money, but I make a lot of things with my money. And this I think is more important than, you know, if you make a lot of money, but you, 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 can, you don't know how to manage your money. So uh, one tip that my friend gave in the, the speech that he gave last week was about his envelopes. And this is a tip that I use in my life since I start to take care of my own money. I have different envelopes for each thing in my life. As an example, I have one envelope for gas. And I spend about $30 of gas a week. And so every week I put $30 over there. And sometimes when the, the gas is cheaper, I spend $20 or I drove less than, you know, than $30. So like if I spend $25 instead of 30, I pay 25 and the five go back to the envelope because this is for gas. And when the gas go up or I need to travel a little bit more, I have $5 extra in this envelope. This seems like silly, but this is something that really helps. And I have an envelope for food, I have an envelope for entertaining, and sometimes I go out and sometimes I don't. Even though my money is there and every week I have a little money for the entertainment and this is, is there and it is there. Sometimes beauty that I can do something more things. Sometimes See? yeah, I, I don't have time to go out or I don't do anything, but every week I put a little money over there I, in this inside of this envelope that is for my entertain. And sometimes I can, you know, have a little money there and this is good. And so this is something very simple, but really helps. And other thing is I write down everything what I spend. Uh, all my friends know that I, I love to write. So uh, notebooks is something that I get from them like a lot. I, now and then a friend of mine give me a notebook. So in 2007, I got a very beautiful notebook that was supposed to me write, you know, beautiful things. But what I decided to do, I decided to write down all my bills. So I have since 2007, ever bills that I pay and the number of the check that I pay with. So if I have any problems, I just go back there and I, and I know I pay and I know the number of my check. And this gives me a peace of mind because sometimes if I'm very busy, I'm not too sure if I pay that bill or if I, pay, if, if I didn't pay yet. Now, because I write down everything, I know I pay. I just go back to my notebook and it's there. I pay and I have a peace of mind. Maybe this make me uh, spend a little bit more time on doing, but really worth it and keep my uh, financial life very organized. And another thing that my friend told me that I thought it was very cool and I told him I will do it is save $1 a day. And seems, seems simple, but maybe it's not too simple. 
<laughs> because we will be like $30 a month. But it's a way I save. I save for my trip and I have all my envelopes, but I don't have this, um, you know, extra savings that I will start to do. And I thought this was a very good idea. And I start to, I, I want to start to do it. And money is a good way for us to see if you have a belief that we deserve to have the best in life. It's not because a person has a lot of money that she believes she, she deserves the best. Because has many people who has the money, but they don't spend the money on themselves. They don't give themselves what they really wish. And so money, beside, uh, besides we be able to buy things with it, it can tell us what we believe about ourselves. And I really need to work more on these deserves and, and, you know, love myself and not criticize myself because I always say here in my channel, we need to love yourself, we cannot criticize ourselves, but this doesn't mean that I don't criticize myself. Of course I do criticize myself. I try to be better and is and it is a life learning experience and I need to get uh, and I need to do better on 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 myself to money come in my life more easily and more uh, abundant and also has many religions that believe that the money is not good. The money is the root of devil. And all these beliefs will uh, interfere in our way to deal with money. Um, we need to change our way of looking mo at money. Money is a good thing. With money, we can go to a doctor if you are sick. With money, we can go to the dentist. With money, we can travel to see someone that we love. With money, we can uh, give to someone who needs. Money is so sacred and we can do a lot of good things with it. Of course, we can use it in a negative way too. With like everything in life, you can use for the positive or you can use for the negative. But um, money was meant to be for a good thing. Money was meant to us spend in good food to be healthy. Money was meant to us spend in all the, in a good car to take us where you need to go. Money was meant to, you know, take us to the doctor if you need to go to a doctor. Money was meant to us to go to a good school. Our kids to go, be able to go to a good school. Uh, so it's time to change our way of looking money. And, and I need to work in my, in my part too because I want this pillar to be so fat. <laughs> To be very fat, like a Santa Claus, and very tall, like what? Let me see, something very tall. <laughs> like a, a build, you know, a very tall build. And I wanted the rest of my pillar grows together. I don't want my life to be crooked. I want my life to be all together, you know? And my life is so big. My life is so wonderful that it needs a four strong pillars to support my life, to give, to give support to my life, to raise me up. Well, I hope this has been helpful and subscribe to my channel. See you next Thursday when we talk about the third pillar that is relationships. See you there. Subscribe to my channel. Bye. Thank you.